Let's bring in our focus group. These are all Republican voters who are trying to decide who they will support in this contest. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so this, the question in the papers today is whether Santorum got it done. He's the new front runner. Did he maintain the status? Did he hurt himself? Did he advance the ball? Kyle Harrington, let me start with you. I mean, I, look, last night was center stage for Santorum. Uh, it looked like, you know, it was a Romney-Santorum debate. And uh, I, th I believe that, uh, you know, no, I don't think he got it done last night. Why not? He, well, he was put on the spot with a lot of things that I think the American public became aware of that are not necessarily fiscally conservative. And I think he needs to be careful also with moving toward social issues and staying on point with respect to the economy, jobs. And it seems that's, like... That's where you want him to be, economy, jobs. I want him to be economy, jobs. Adam economy Geller, jobs. do you agree? You remember the days in the early parts of the debate where he was all the way on the stage going, what about me? Ask me a question. He got what he wished for, and what I, what I think we saw last night, he wasn't ready for it. Why not? He wasn't ready for the heat. Why? What, what about his answers? I, I don't think do he that? was prepared um, to, to take on all of this scrutiny about you know, supporting our inspector. I mean, all the great points that Mitt Romney brought up. I thought Mitt Romney. He had said a we need inspector in the Senate because we were going to have three Supreme Court vacancies, and he was chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and we and needed somebody. And he got somebody. lost in the weeds yeah, because he yeah. was defending, 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 going into details about that and yeah, earmarks and all that other stuff. Yeah. Didi Becky. That's not good debate. Like er, e, a, o, i. Couldn't even get the words out. You're breaking up there. Couldn't even get the words out there. And and Mitt Romney was great. A presidential timber. He was like an oak. And Rick Santorum's <laughs> you, Rick you, have Santorum, a little, you have a little crush on no, Rick. No, no, no. Rick Santorum, well, look at the crew. I mean, the Fantastic Four, he'd be the one to have the crush on. I mean, you know, he is like central casting. He, he is the oak tree where Rick Santorum is sort of like the funny looking rubber tree over here. Uh, Mary, Mary Walter still thinks that Rob Paul is the oak tree. She's got the love affair going with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. That's like Charlie Brown's Christmas you know tree. What? That's what Rob Paul is like. We did not show what Ron Paul said in response to Santorum saying, well, politics is a team. You know, sometimes you got to take it for the team. He, and I thought he knocked it out well, of the park. He, he, he said, said he really hard to explain why that is so objectionable, what yeah. Santorum said to you. Why? Because I, I don't want someone to necessarily play politics. I think we've had enough of that. And what, did Ron, and what did Ron Paul say? Ron Paul said, well, I took an oath to an office, not an oath to a party. Well, that's okay, and he said, that's, that's, not, that's that. nice in theory, great. but as a political matter, is it reality? Tracy Davis, is it reality? Or don't we see politicians making compromises I think that um, it was that he got completely exposed and it was a complete game changer for him because it made him seem so inside Washington making mm -hmm. that deal with yeah. Spectre mm -hmm. for him to make the votes of the right. judge and when he started backtracking and explaining things and no child left behind and when he was talking about well then I put in another bill that would that would counter the one that I signed right. and the Ty taking it for the team he's a United States senator He's a quintessential in Washington insider. But, but and that's what separates him from Mitt Romney. Mitt yes. Romney is a governor. He has to make decisions. He has to govern. And everything he does is for uh, betterment of, of his uh, uh, residents. But did Mitt, they, Romney, did Mitt Romney look presidential? Yes. 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 I, we, we have, yes. We have yes. one clip teed up. Uh, there was a political write-up today that talked about how he seemed nasty uh, at times and almost petty. Yes. Just look at this one clip. Well, he did. Yes, Governor, you balanced the budget for four years. You have a constitutional requirement to balance the budget in four years. No great shakes. I'm all for it. I'm, I'd like to see it federally. But don't go around bragging about something you have to do. Uh, Michael Dukakis balanced the budget for 10 years. Does that make him qualified to be President of the United States? I don't think so. What, what, what was with the body language and the well, clapping in the middle? You know, I mean, that, I, I haven't seen him do that before at a debate. Go ahead, he, Steve. He's, no. appeal, he's appealing to the Republican hardcore base. And, and the more he does that, the more he alienates independent voters. Romney. And, uh, uh, no, I'm talking about Santorum. Santorum. Right. Yeah. And it's going to be very difficult for Rick Santorum in a general election to move back to the center. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem that he has. He looks angry. He's coming off being angry all the time, feeding red meat to the base, like, like an angry dragon. Because the political write-up was saying that Romney was the one who seemed, they, they said, snippy and nasty. Romney. And at the end, John King asked him, yeah. what's the biggest misconception about you? And he didn't yeah. answer. And he said, are you going to tell us? And he said, you get to ask the questions you want. I get to give the answers I want. I thought that <laughs> Comparatively, that, he, looked, comparatively he looked okay next to Rick Santorum. Yeah. Rick Santorum is yeah. one of the most self-righteous, pious people yeah. on the planet. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to have him forced to be to admit that he voted for some bad bills and had to play politics a little bit, it, it ate him up inside. It made him look really bad. So comparatively, Romney won. Did he you, looked better. And I Go ahead, Rom Romney did a great job last night exposing Rick Santorum 
for a lot of the policies that he put in place. Do you think, as a result of this, David Selig, that Rick Santorum will lose the frontrunner status? Yes. Well, I think Rick Santorum and Mitt Romney really showed themselves to be very adroit and skillful politicians. But what we need is a statesman. Uh, much like a Ronald Reagan or a Newt Gingrich. Oh. And I would say <laughs> that this Gingrich juggernaut is just going to take the nation by storm at this point. You think so? I mean, Absolutely. does anybody here believe that Newt did himself, you know, significant good last night? I do. You do? I think that um, he, w the way that he was calm and it sort of got rid of his, that angry, weird image he had, and that, and I think it, it, it's sort of like a, um, a launching point because he's going to get a lot of money, and he, ha and he has you his think aims for Newt is, Newt is definitely Outside getting money. Outside of Sheldon, well, he's getting, he's getting money from somebody other than Sheldon. Sheldon. Getting ten do, do we all want to know Sheldon and become good friends with yeah. him? Yeah, yes. yes. I just want to make that clear. Chip so Kelsey, what did you think? I, I think watching Newt is like watching a Bella Lugosian movie. Like he can pretend to be friendly at times, but you know, at well, the yeah. end, his teeth are going to come out, and he's but just going to get extremely. Well. Is yeah. this a testament to Santorum? It's not. Actually, Santorum <laughs> was exposed last night more so for yeah. um, Title Ten. Yes. I mean, you can't yeah. wear your religion on your sleeve okay. and then justify voting for Planned Parenthood. So what I think he did last night. He was questioned night, about this for the viewers who didn't see mm -hmm. that. He was questioned about why he voted to support that. He said it was in a huge bill that had right. all sorts of spending measures right. in it. Right. I didn't want it, but then I pr I pushed for Title right. 20, which also had abstinence education. So at least I did morals. something. You he didn't right. accept that? No, because no. he, he compromised his his morals. He's he's Catholic. He professes to be Catholic. Abortion is an intrinsic evil. How can you compromise on something like that? He so he's, he's asking DC people. DC but if you feel that way, like Didi Banky, so you're jumping yeah. on that bandwagon. But, yes. but, but Mitt Romney has taken so much heat for reversing himself on Absolutely. the issue That's of right. race and life right. and so Megan. on. Here's the thing. Being a DC insider is toxic. You cannot have that. Right. Mitt Romney is the only one now that is the DC outsider as a Okay, but that's a different but, point. That's a different point. If you're going to go after point. Santorum from compromising on principle, right. uh, then what, what about Romney, who has flip flopped on several big issues? Steve Stone, go ahead. Because Romney has to govern. He has to make decisions as a governor every day. The, his constituents expect him Didn't to do that. Didn't Santorum oh, have no, to do that no, no, when no. he was a U.S. senator? No, because Santorum never ran anything. Right. He never was a CEO. He never ran a company. He never ran a state. That's the problem senators have when they run for national office. DC they have to make decisions. Did he have trade-offs all the time? Santorum is saying he had a compromise. The difference here, I think Steve's point is, is that the compromise was one that is made by a DC insider. Taking yes, one yeah. for the team, I'm going to vote right, against something right. I don't mm -hmm. believe in. Facts That's not deal. leadership. That's right. And, and That's I think huge. to Steve's point, uh, there's a big difference when you're in the executive level. Yeah. To go back to one thing that you said about Newt Gingrich, I think he did pretty well last night, but I think that that is better for Mitt Romney. On that, yes. and, and, and on that front, how they're painting themselves. Consistency. Right, okay. Consistency. Okay. I, I want to play, the, I wanna play I mean, one of the yeah, most interesting yeah. answers of the night and get your reaction to whether the gentlemen were truthful here. Without caveats or explanations, please define yourself using one word and one word only. Congressman Paul? Consistent. Yeah. Senator Santorum? Uh, courage. Governor? Resolute. Mr. Speaker? Cheerful. <laughs> that got a big laugh. Tim White, were they true? Again, it all comes back to consistency. If we're looking for a, a politically pure candidate and somebody that's been consistent, we have to really take a look at Ron Paul. I mean, he you. gets not a lot of respect here, and we started the show talking about him, but I think he needs some more consideration. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, he, he believes here. the biggest misconception about him is he that he can't win. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, there yeah. are a lot of people who look at Santorum, such as myself, who weren't, you don't have to win the far right of the base, because there's a lot of us who are independents who will vote for Republican this time because of the alternative. And, you know, these other guys, these other three, if Ron Paul does not get in, the other three have to win us over at this point. And we're sitting out there and we're going to do it. Mitt Romney really is resolute. Yeah, I do. I, yeah. I, do you really think that uh, Newt Gingrich is cheerful? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you think so? No, I <laughs> David <laughs> Selig. <laughs> depends on his bronze. <laughs> it depends on the night. I would like to tell your viewing audience uh, that you know, we really have to win this election, and you have to look where the real support for either Centurum or Mitt Romney is coming from, and it is not from this party. So let's. What? I, 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 I got to say, 
to be we'll have to leave it on that no, we do have to get the independence. We do have to get the independence, and we, we do have to have a larger tent, and we can't go as far right as Santorum is. And I think this is great because it's a game yep. changer, and I think Mitt Romney is going to win Arizona, right. Michigan. And I will let that be the last the word. We need the We need a choose. bigger tent. And now i got to go. <laughs> and that's truly the last word. Thank you all so much, panel. Pleasure as always. Thanks. 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 And we're taking...